I think a lot of employees, having been remote from the pandemic, have found to be more productive in the sense that they're not getting interrupted. The primary one is being able to have a wider availability of talent that extends beyond just your immediate locality where somebody is, is available. Me, I know I've switched a lot of clients to different banks that have better online banking functions and online check writing approvals, things like that. So, you know, I started with a client who was using paper checks and I would, it was someone who was local, but I would drive there, sign the check. And once they change, they're like, oh my God, this is so much easier. You know, why didn't we do it like this before? When you give your remote workers access, please don't give them your admin access to everything. Please create their own access because then that just reduces the liability. If something happens, you can pinpoint, you know, what login, you know, happened. I always get nervous when somebody gives me their admin logins. I don't want them. <laughs> A lot of clients don't get into understanding how to share and uh, introducing everybody to the team. And a, a lot of it, I, I think it's not because of the lack of technology or the ability to use technology. A lot of clients don't have the kind of disciplines in place to have a good organization chart to really understand who are the players on the field, uh, or as they say, what people are on the bus and what seats. Don't isolate your remote worker from the other people in your organization, whether they are employees or other remote workers. I think do something to bring them together so they're not just a name on an email so that you get to know who these people are and you know, then you can get a more sense of the culture.